The SDA system is ideally suited for the administration of traditional injections like the buccal infiltration as well as the posterior superior alveolar nerve block. Let's discuss how to begin. Injection technique, the supraperiosteal buccal infiltration. Set the STA system to the normal mode, which allows the STA system to function with two distinct flow rates, the control flow and the rapid flow rate. We recommend using the control flow rate for the first quarter of the cartridge for all initial phases of infiltration and block injections. Depressing the foot control pedal lightly allows you to enter the control flow rate. Fully depressing the foot control allows you to enter the rapid flow rate. There is a corresponding beeping tone to distinguish these two rates that you will hear. It is important to remember that rapid flow is used during supraperiosteal buccal infiltration injections or mandibular blocks only after the first quarter cartridge has been dispensed and the patient has acknowledged that they have soft tissue anesthesia of the area being injected. To administer a supraperiosteal infiltration injection, we recommend the use of a 30 gauge 1 inch needle. Topical anesthetic may be used if you or your patient desire. Just prior to needle insertion, initiate cruise control by depressing the foot control lightly. After three beeps, the SDA system will announce cruise. Upon hearing the cruise announcement, remove your foot from the foot control pedal if you desire to use the cruise feature. This begins the anesthetic flow to the injection site. Hold the handpiece very delicately and insert the needle using a slight back and forth rotation. Continue with a slow insertion which may take several seconds to reach the target. If an aspiration test is required for the specific infiltration, perform an aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control pedal. If the aspiration is negative, you can continue the infiltration injection and administration of anesthetic solution to the area. If aspiration is positive, reposition the needle and perform another aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control pedal. Once you've achieved a negative aspiration, it is recommended that you administer at least one quarter of the cartridge at the control flow rate before transitioning to the rapid flow rate. To enter into the rapid flow rate, depress the foot control pedal beyond the halfway down position. This will allow you to enter into the second more rapid flow rate in which you can administer the remaining amount of anesthetic solution. This should only be used after your patient indicates that effective soft tissue anesthesia has occurred. When you have delivered the required dosage, you can remove the needle. To avoid anesthetic solution spray back into the patient's mouth, perform the following. While the needle is still embedded in patient tissues, depress and release the foot control pedal. Count three beeps after releasing the foot control and then remove the needle from within the patient's mouth. Direct the needle away from the patient as a small amount of anesthetic solution may still be present. Should you require more than one anesthetic cartridge, you can reload subsequent cartridges and continue as required. Please see the section on multi-cartridge technique. The SDA system precisely controls the flow rate and pressure below your patient's pain threshold level, thus resulting in a more comfortable experience. The SDA system is a valuable addition to your practice and one that all your patients will greatly appreciate. It is the sole responsibility of each practitioner to identify, select, and administer the proper drug and volume for a given patient. The following information serves as a suggestion and not meant as definitive guidelines for any specific patient. The suggested drug and volume to perform the superperiosteal buccal infiltration injection is 2% xylocaine HCL, one part per 100,000 epinephrine. A drug volume of 0.9 milliliters to 1.4 milliliters, which is equivalent to three quarters to one full cartridge, is the suggested volume when performing this infiltration. If you elect to use a 4% concentrated local anesthetic drug, such as 4% articane, HCL, use half the dosage previously suggested and use extreme caution when using these medications. Please refer to an appropriate textbook reference source for guidance and recommendation pertaining to local anesthetic solutions and specific volumes. Buccal infiltrations can be easily and comfortably administered using the STA's normal mode with both the control flow and rapid flow rates.